What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Bullet Man episode. We are in Colorado with the family, and uh, we're out here doing a little ice fishing. We did this a couple of years. We're in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and uh, we're actually in the same exact spot as we were two years ago, where we were catching a bunch of fish. And we caught some big fish uh, before I could even get the camera out. So, I'll show you a couple of these guys. Big old, big old rainbow trout. Riders loving it. I can't believe how big that is. Oh, that is a big. Is that the one you just caught? Uh huh. Yeah. That is a giant. Rider, hold him. Want to hold him, Rider? Hold him, Rider. He oh, wants to bite wow. him. Did you catch one? Huh? Did you just catch that one? Yeah. Jigging? We milled it. No, it was our, it was on here. Oh, that's another fatty. Oh, there he is. How you doing, Bubba? Can you hold the fishing pole? <laughs> All right. My oh, little guy. We'll throw him back. Come along this bank line, they make a turn, and then they come back out. They just got one in there, but I think it's small. Normal? A little one. Oh yeah, that's a little more normal. Those are the stalkers. Um, when that they put them in between eight and ten inches, so we catch a lot that size. All right, guys. So this is what we're using. Obviously, the last rods, like two foot long. Got little Zebcos on there. I'm gonna show you what we're fishing with. Little tiny jig with a uh, little skirt, looks like a little orange worm, and then they got some uh, some gulp nuggets Power on bait. the hook. What is it? Power bait. Power bait nuggets. So, Dad's just dropping it down to the bottom, watching this sonar, and uh, when they come through, give it a little jig. I hope they hope they bite. You see a line going down. That's the bait right there going down the bottom. Sometimes yep. we have a 17 lot of foot of water. Just letting them sit. Other times you keep jigging. It just depends. It's constantly. You fishing? Alright, guys, we moved into the hut. There's Millie. I have man here. It's a little bit warmer in here, so we're just going to keep fishing. Try to catch a few more. The ice is like 15 inches right now, so it's super, super thick. I've been doing Mom's got one. Reel him in. He told me to let it bite again. Oh, he got off? Well, he said just to take it out. No, you got him. You got him. I do? Nope. Uh-uh. Yeah. yeah, she missed him. Shoot. Oh, he got the bait, No though. bait. Hey, you sleepy? You sleepy? <laughs> Man down. That that ice just cracked. If you got him one second off. That ice just cracked big time. <laughs> Did it really? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. be a big old pike. Oh, oh, let him easy. take some line if he needs to. Oh, oh shoot. What was it? Trout? It must have gotten caught in the hole. Oh, sure. Like you said, they move, move around in schools. This little one I'm gonna put back. I don't you wanna okay. pan fry yeah, that? Yeah, you can put him back. Yeah, put him back. yeah he's, we got enough now. Ooh. Lay back. Alright. 
Get up, let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Perfect snow angel. Right. Man, I wasn't fast enough. The, uh, he's like, I'm not waiting anymore. I know what happens when I wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, so you guys got really spoiled there by that school that moved through at the beginning. These are way more normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still fun. Oh yeah, well, I'm catching fish is catching fun. Kids are having fun. We're just waiting on them to come through on this, on the bird. All right, we just had a little fish come through. Why is it picking yours up? It'll pick both of them up. No, oh, it will? Yeah. 17 foot of water. He had to have seen it when you moved it. Come on, buddy. Eat. Might be. Yeah, he had a big one. They're in 26 foot, we're in 17. And they just got bit. We haven't got bit in a while, so I think we're gonna move out. Let's move this party out there. A little deeper out here, huh? Today, huh? Yeah, it's popping. Judd left his sandwich for me to go catch a fish. Set it, set it, there he is. Good job. Got him. He's the guy. <laughs> got him. We got the sandbag tournament fisher over here Look reeling the them all in. To move him? I just caught a giant right over there. Get it out of the hole. Nice Eight job. One. All right. Good job. Oh, oh. <laughs> catch and release. Perfect. You want to hold it for a sec? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to put them back in, okay? Yeah, we don't need you guys ready? Right? Yep. No. Yeah. Sweet. Back to <sighs> Millie, we already let it go. We already let it go. We'll get it. Up. Yeah, he just took drag. He's still taking drag. Right it's a big one. Yeah, Feels like a small one. Oh yeah, one. no, it's a big one. No way. You better get him, he's oh, huge. Oh, oh that's a big one. Oh. I can't. Yeah. Oh man, the luck is changing. Yeah, <laughs> holy to, smokes. We need to throw him back while he's still good. Yeah, they, Do y'all want any to eat? No, I'm, we, we can go fishing all the time. Yeah. Um, I gotta put it. Well guys, been a fun day on the ice. We're gonna wrap it up. We kept, we didn't keep all the fish that we caught. We didn't wanna bring any back home to Texas, but we had to keep five, four or five, maybe six big ones that uh, we're gonna eat tonight for dinner and maybe some lunch tomorrow. So we're packing everything up and then uh, these guys are gonna clean the fish for us. So that's nice. I'll film then cleaning those fish up and then we're gonna head back to the house and. Eat some dinner. That's how we do it at home. We they stalk some of our little ponds in Texas, and we catch them and just do it like that and smoke them whole, and then pick the meat off and make dip out of them. Yeah, I with the small ones I'll smoke them whole, but um, these other ones I usually, you know, don't I. I mean, I do sometimes keep the little ones, like if they swallow a hook or something. Right. Um, Judd's got the last one. <laughs> We're cleaning fish and he's getting a bite. Still biting it? Nope. Oh, there he is. He's on. Oh, 
You should have set the hook then when he pulled it down. Nope, nope, let him go back down. Dang, he's still messing with it. Or are you shaking? No, he's kind of thumping it a little bit. Maybe Give it a hard jig. <laughs> All right, yeah, those are some big trout. Look at that. Big old yeah. trout, rainbow yeah, trout. I think, I mean, I don't have a ruler, but it's got to be 18, right? Yeah, three pounds. I bet yeah. it's bigger than 18. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I I hate to overestimate. But <laughs> so you just fillet them like a normal fish? Yeah, so give, give the cut there. Halfway frozen already. Exactly. Oh yeah, that meat is frozen. Yeah. Seems like their meat's a lot more orange if they grow out of their stocking. Oh yeah. yeah. Perfect. Can you just cut those bones out? Yeah. I know, uh... That's pretty simple. He basically just flays them out like we would anything else at home. You getting another bite? Oh, you're running over to your other rod. So, if y'all are ever in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and you want to go fishing, Stagecoach Marina, Steamboat Springs Boat Rentals dot com dot com. Y'all go check them out. They do summer fishing trips on pontoon boats. You can cook lunch on the boat and go catch a bunch of fish, or you can come out here and get in these huts, and they'll have everything set up, and it's awesome. So they'll be linked in the description. Y'all go check them out if you're ever out here and uh, come fishing. All right, guys, we are back at the house, and we are gonna do a little some something a little different that we never do. Uh, we're gonna do like a three-way cook-off. Not so much a cook-off, but we're just gonna cook them three different ways. So, Dad, what's your trout, recipe? Trout almondine. Pretty simple. I had to fillet them out, cut the skin off both sides. We're gonna run them through uh, flour, pan fry them, bake them with some uh, almond slivers, and a couple other goodies. We'll see how that works, how it works out. And some lemon. Those scales don't want to come off. They're all over there. All right, and then we got Judd working on a, a sauce. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Well, how are you cooking the oh, trout? Yeah. Uh, just using some butter and garlic. And the sauce over angel hair pasta. How about you make the angel hair pasta and the sauce, and I'll make the trout because I was gonna do lemon, butter, garlic anyway. Okay. Let's just do that. So you make the sauce, angel hair pasta. Dad's got his own fish going, and then I'll make the rest just. I'm going to do some butter, lemon, garlic baked, um, kind of like a foil pack, and then we'll put it over angel hair pasta with Judd sauce. Pulling bones. The only way to get around this is if you smoke them for fish dip and you can pull the bones out after it's done cooking, but this saves a lot of headache when you're chewing long little bones. All right, we're moving fast, we're moving fast. Judd's sauce is looking good. Pasta's about to go in. Don't know what's going on here. Dad's rolling his in flour and pepper, it looks like. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and then, are you doing paprika too? Nope. Oh. And then I got all the trout fillets laid out. I'm just gonna put some salt, pepper, some lemon slices, some butter. Ryder just peed on Angel. Y'all are seeing everything? Oh, you're not baking them? Yep. Oh, you pan fried and baked. We got chitlins everywhere. It's probably because I just threw them in the air 20 times. Thank you for 
All right, guys, this is what I got going on over here. Lemon butter, garlic, salt, pepper, and fresh rainbow trout. We open that up. Going in. Got them garnishes on there. There it is. Dad's is done. Ours is still. Doesn't look like it's cooking very fast. I can bake it a little more. Just the 330, so. Guess I got a ways to go. Alright. This gets hot quick. Alright, it is loud house right now. We're gonna get everything plated and then we'll do a taste test. Diablo, Diablo sauce. sauce. All right, I got my plate. Judd's getting his. Dad, got mine. Let's get a taste test. I'll try yours first. One out of ten. One trout. I'm not doing the sauce or pasta on either of them. I want to try the fish. Ooh, I got a piece with bones all in it. Let's try the back side. Got the small ones in there. Got a crunch of almond. Not a whole lot of flavor. Let's put, a, put some of that almond in there. Almond and fish. Hmm. I'll give it like a six four. All right, this is lemon butter garlic. I'm gonna go. Try, I'm gonna go. Jet, so. Yeah, we gotta try it with the Diablo. Cause that will, but that just masks the taste of the fish. Yeah, I mean, I had no clue that there was even fish in that bite, other than the texture. I'm gonna give both fish a, a par six. Does that sound right? Par six? Yeah. How would you say that? <laughs> what you looking for? How would you say that? It ain't like a uh, subpar. Subpar, so I'd be like five nine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna give both of the fit, both styles. Uh, Wishing they were six. A low six. Wishing they were six. But the Diablo sauce, I'm gonna give solid eight and a half. And the pasta is pasta. All right, let's see what these have to say about it. Uh. All right, I did Judd's recipe a little different. I put the pasta bed, I put the uh, trout on top of the pasta, and I put the Diablo sauce on top of it. So, let's see what let's try the fish. The no taste tastes like. Right, that's Ryder yelling in the background if y'all didn't know. So the Diablo sauce is a, a solid eight. Yep. The trout gives it texture. That's about it. And of course the uh, almondine. I mean, at least you can taste some more trout. Yeah, because you cover mine up with the sauce. Try that the, without uh, the sauce. Then just the uh, lemon and butter sauce, but. So it's kind of weird because the trout has doesn't have a lot of flavor at all. No, it doesn't. So pretty yeah. bland. Pretty bland. All right, Judd. Judd Jud just going straight fish tasting. That's that's mine. Lemon, garlic. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's edible. I see a bone in there. <laughs> I feel like that doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. More flavor than that. we say like a 7.5 and a 7.4. Ooh, you went up there. All right, well, hope you guys enjoy this video. It's fun, got a lot of fish to eat, so uh, we're gonna get after it. There's possibly another cool video coming uh, from Colorado, but if not, I'll see you guys in Texas. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.